inventory, interest rates, Ukraine and gas prices, what is going on in the real estate market. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you some very specific details uh, so that you can find uh, the positives in this market because they certainly exist. What's up everybody, it's John Wentworth, owner operator, Wentworth Real Estate Group. Uh, and today, as I said, we're gonna talk about uh, just a lot of the things that are out in the market right now. We're hearing so many people are you know, asking, John, what's happening with the market? What's happening with interest rates? What, how's, how's Ukraine gonna have an impact on me selling? my home and so we're gonna dive into some of that stuff I'm gonna give you what I believe what I'm seeing and also share some data with you so let's get started okay so first let's talk about interest rates you know I know that's one of the things where we have seen a small increase in the rates and so I thought I'd jump right into that uh, and just in over the last 30 days if we look at today's interest rate at 4.289 going back to February uh, the middle of February it was 3.95 so they have raised a little bit what does that really mean to you if if you do the math on that. Well, for, for that change in interest rate, it's going to affect your payment by about $20 a month per every 100,000 you spend, right? So if you're looking to purchase a home for $500,000, that's gonna affect your payment uh, about $100 per month. So not a big change, certainly not uh, you know, a hike in the interest rates where it's, it's not changing anything that's happening in the market. I don't believe there's somebody that was going to buy that now isn't going to because of the interest rates. Maybe changes their purchasing power, but as you can see, very, very little. So to me, interest rates are a non-thing at this point in the market, especially here in Michigan. Uh, next, let's talk about inventory because that obviously is the next thing. People are, you know, we're hearing so much, there's no inventory, there's, there's nothing for sale. How am I, I know I can sell, but how am I gonna buy because there's nothing out there for sale? And, and the truth is about the same number of homes are selling this year as they did in 2021. But I'm gonna walk you through uh, some of the data when it comes to inventory as well as average sales prices. So in the entire MLS uh, in Michigan, right? This is the system that all of the realtors use. In the entire MLS, uh, the average sales price of homes are up nine and a half percent. The number of homes for sale is down about 10%. So it is down a little bit, but it's also early in March. And you know, with, with that comes a rush as we go into April and May, where so many people are then putting their homes on the market. So even at that point, I really don't feel like the inventory, it feels like there's little inventory, but that's just because they're selling so quickly, right? Because the number of pending home sales, the number of homes under contract right now is only down 3.8%. So the same number of homes are going to sell in the first quarter of 2022 as they did in the first quarter of 2021. So again, is inventory down? Yes, but I don't think it's down as much as it feels like. It just feels like it's very low because everything is selling so quickly. Um, let's talk about price per square foot, right? Obviously another indicator of value. And the price per square foot is up just shy of 12% in 2022 in the entire MLS. So really when you look at the data, if you, if you block the noise of everything going on in the world and you look at the data, the real estate market is super strong, it remains super strong, and honestly, I don't really see anything changing that right now. You know, we talk about what's going on in Ukraine and, you know, gas prices starting to really go up, and, you know, of all of those things, I think the gas prices starts to have a little bit of effect um, on people, but I think it's more of, you know, one of those things where if you're committed to making a move in 2022, none of these things are going to stop you from doing that. Right? It might, it might alter your plan a little bit, but none of them are going to stop you. And so if, if you're looking to make a move in 2022, all of the signs are positive. Now I know a lot of sellers are starting to ask that question. When should I list my home, right? Is, should I have urgency in listing my home right now because interest rates are going up? And, and I don't ever believe that. I think the best time to sell your home is when you are ready, uh, when you can prep your home and have it really dialed in to go to the market. But obviously sitting here early in March uh, and the snow starting to melt in Michigan, uh, at least uh, maybe not up in Traverse City where we have another office, but downstate, snow is starting to melt, the sun is out, uh, and the market is red hot. So if you're looking again at making a move in 2022, all signs are very positive. And uh, we actually have a plan in place also for our sellers to make sure that they not only get top dollar, but also get to stay in their home longer so that they can find that next home of their dreams without the stress of moving twice. So 
Uh, thank you for checking this video out. And uh, if you'd like more information on a specific area or zip code, feel free to reach out to us and we'll provide you that info. Thank you so much and have a great day.